Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and these are a lot of romance releases that are coming out in February. I have a lot of books. I don't even know how many <laughs> books for this video that are on my radar in February. I am, of course, not going to be reading all of these in February, okay? They're just books that I found that are coming out this month that I thought other people might be interested in, that I am interested in. I'm interested in all these books, but I don't have the time and money to read all of them right now. <laughs> um, but I'm very interested in them nonetheless, and I hope that y'all get some recommendations out of this as well. So let's talk about these books. I'm going to be going in publication order. I have my handy dandy laptop here and we're gonna get started, okay? So the first one that I have is Blindsided by the Spotlight by Elora Maxwell. Saw this and immediately thought of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, okay? So it's about May, who is the biggest country music star the world has ever seen, but her journey to the top was not an easy one. And this is her romance with Wyatt, who is an up and coming football player with the work ethic of a champion and a heart of a teddy bear. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, y'all, like, yeah. <laughs> that one comes out on February 2nd, by the way. Then on February 4th is Valentine for My Vampire by Honey Phillips, a Honey Phillips book that's vampire themed, Valentine theme, that's all I know. I'm gonna read it. This is just a Honey Phillips book. I put Honey Phillips books on like all my TBRs. Also on February 4th is Fourth and Long by Britt Bell. This one I believe is a hockey romance. No, it's a football, it's a football romance. Okay, it's about Ellie and Slater. He is a quarterback. So Ellie right now is having a very complicated time right now with her family, with her parents and her sister. And then she meets Slater. Their relationship starts out as casual, but our lives become more intertwined and she can't help but fall for him. Then is Slater who tries to prove what it takes to be a starting quarterback. He can't risk distractions. So when he hooks up with Ellie, he tells himself she's nothing but a pretty girl. We keep it casual because as soon as the ink dries on his new contract, he'll be hundreds of miles away. She follows the rules and lets him go without a fight. But even though football consumes him, he can't forget her. What if loving her is what makes everything else worthwhile? I haven't read a lot of football romances, funnily enough, so I think that's gonna be great. Then on the fifth, I have Plucked by the Orc by Jenna Larkin. I think there's gonna be a few books in this series about like written by different authors about like monsters and then like a theme around a flower maybe. I think that's what I saw. So it looks like it's a historical kind of like monsterish romance. Okay, so it looks like our hero in here, Duncan, must transform a humble flower girl into a lady worthy of acceptance in society. So he's gonna like turn her into like a lady of society, but he's like a monster creature. That sounds so fun. On the sixth, this one that I'm dying to read, I'm definitely gonna be reading this one. I am, I'm going to be reading it. It's this author's debut book. It has disability chronic illness representations. This is Truthfully Yours by Caden Armstrong. So this book takes place in Scotland and it's about Charlie, who I think is from America. She's gonna be living there for three months and then she ends up meeting Paige or Jamie Mahone. As the fans of Starverse know him, the unfortunate co-star to the actor who started Charlie's mishaps right now, Paige did not for one second imagine that surprising his sister one night would lead to a good headache and a handful of trouble. Stuck in the same apartment, they must not only fight their immediate dislike for each other, but also their attraction. And so then they create um, flatmate rules. Number one, the apartment stays clean and we stay out of each other's respective rooms. Two, if anyone feels uncomfortable, we need to tell each other. And three, flatmates don't fall for flatmates, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I think there's also autism representation. I'm really excited. Next is Kissing Bandit by Margaret Rose. This one comes out also on the 6th. Francesca just got over a horrible relationship. So she decides that she's not gonna be dating and she is going to the lake for the summer. And she spends the last night in town dancing with the backward hat wearing wallflower looking for love. The hero of the story is former professional baseball player, John Boggs. So he's the one who's been dancing with Francesca that last night. And he's com she's completely like taken over his thoughts. His first attempt at something other than a one night stand on the road completely backfires. He took things slow. He gave her his number. He dipped her and she ran. <laughs> but fate has different plans. John is selling his father's estate and Francesca magically appears on his doorstep with a brand new Frankie's Finds estate sales of business cards. 
Oh, so it's kind of like they work together to sell this house or something. Next is Stay With Me by Brooke Montgomery, the second book in the Sugarland Creek series. I really enjoyed book one. This is like a small town, like ranch romance series. I don't really want to know what this one is about. I think it's Best Friend's Brother, possibly. That one comes out on February 7th. Next is Serpent Valentine by Jonah Darling. That comes out on February 8th. I believe this is a sapphic like dark contemporary romance. Then I have Shadow Mark by Nancy Cummings. This one comes out on February 9th. And I just saw this monster book with this uh, very drool worthy cover and needed it. Okay, so it says uh, she is dumped onto an alien planet by a glitchy portal. Rescue comes in the form of a handsome and infuriating space elf. Space elf? <laughs> I don't need to read anything else. Space Elf? Yes. Then is Holding the Reins by Paisley Hope. This one comes out on the 9th. This one's about Cece and Nash. Cece ends up returning to her small town of Laurel Creek, Kentucky to her family's equestrian ranch. And Nash is the newly retired superstar of the Dallas Stars. And he's Laurel Creek's hometown hero local business owner and notorious bachelor. It's been years since his days of tormenting and protecting Cece with her older brothers, Wade and Cole, but when Cece returns to town unexpectedly and needs a job, he knows where he has to have her and not entirely for business. In fact, Nash can't seem to take his eyes off of his best friend's much younger, vulnerable little sister, and it seems she's staring right back. <laughs> Ranch, small town. Uh, yeah, I'm reading that. Next is Eyes Like a Hurricane by Taryn. Nicolic. This is the first book in the Topaz Fall series. This one comes out on February 9th. So this is about Aislin who moves into the small town of Topaz Falls, Montana. She wants to become a veterinarian and she wants to open up her clinic in this small town. And then she bumps into Lachlan who is co-owner of the equine therapy ranch for veterans. And then he falls for this feisty brunette who's gonna be the veterinarian in town. Sounds really fun. It reminds me of a certain TV show. I can't remember the name of it, but it reminds me of that. Um, next is Wilted Virch Verdu, Verdu by Jade Waltz. This is an alien romance author, monster romance author that I really enjoy. I've been wanting to read more of their books. Um, This one comes out on February 10th. I made a grave mistake, I'm dying, and my Luari is the only one who can save me. It all started with these foreign objects appeared in my territory. When I gave one to my home tree, since then I've been slowly withering away, praying to the mother tree for a blessing. Just as I was ready to give up hope, a female human crashes into me and begs me to help her, but instead she is the one saving me. Love blossoms between us, but I'm afraid she will continue to insist that I help her return to her home world, no matter what. How can I convince her to plant her roots and turn a new leaf with me? Looks so good. It's like a sci-fi slow burn. Next is Behind the Broken by Chloe Panoranda. This is a debut and I think it's a duet. So it's the first in a duet. I think it ends on a cliffhanger possibly. Anyway, so no, ex no one expects an angel to buy a ticket to hell. I would have lived my life the righteous way, but my path of vengeance forced me to become the monster my un uncle wanted to create. When I lie my way into playing bodyguard for the senator's daughter, I don't expect our fires to cross or to become addicted to the blaze. Anastasia Kinsley burns that ice that froze my heart years ago, but I need to find the will to resist. Chained up in the devil's playground, I won't let myself lose again. <gasps> like, so it's bodyguard and maybe like revenge plotline as well, but he falls for her daughter. It kind of sounds like Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. Ooh, next is one I'm dying to read. This is The Wickedness of a Highlander by Elisa Braden, the next book out in the Midnight in Scotland series. So this whole series is about like the McPherson family, Scottish family, um, finding the love of their life. So this is the romance between Alexander and Sabella. And that's all I know. I don't want to know anything else, but look at this cover. I love this series so much. I'm all caught up, so I'm ready for this. I'm also ready for <laughs> Ready or Not by Car Bastone. This one comes out on February 13th. This is a surprise pregnancy romance. If y'all know, I'm in my surprise pregnancy era and Car Bastone knows how to write her butt off with books. And so I am so ready for this. It's slow burn, friends to lovers, surprise pregnancy. That's all I need to know. Next is Fish Out of Water by Katie Ruggle. This one also comes out on the 13th. This is about Dahlia. And when her sister disappears on what should have been a simple day hike, Dahlia immediately heads deep into the Colorado Rockies to find her. Knowing she'll never survive the mountains alone, she convinces the local hermit, adorably grouchy survival expert Winston, to be her guide. All it takes is a good helping of Dahlia's charm and the teeniest bit of blackmail before she got the all six foot something of him wrapped around her finger. But even with her very own mountain man in tow, things aren't going to be easy. I love a good mountain man. Okay. This cover sucked me in. Okay, this is The Friendship Study by Ruby Barrett. 
This is, I think, an LGBTQ plus book. This one's about Jesse and Lulu. So Jesse wants his old life back before an injury made his career as a firefighter impossible. So when a friend tells him about a paid psychological study, Jesse sees the chance to get back to the man he was while making a little extra cash. Lulu is back home after a devastating breakup. She's struggling to find her place. The friendship study seems like a great idea until she's paired with Jesse Logan, who recently ghosted her after a blind date that led to a steamy makeout session <laughs> oh my gosh okay so i guess it's like a, like a study of the two of them whoa despite the program's strict no romance rule jesse and lulu are quick to find a workaround that allows them to explore their tenuous connection and soon they're on their way to total self-improvement as long as they don't get caught then is at first spiked by olivia dade the first book in her new series the harlot bay series i don't know what this is about i don't want to know what this is about i just went olivia dade's books on my like most anticipated lists because she writes fantastic contemporary romances with amazing representation. Next is The Likelihood of You by Holly Jukes. This one comes out on February 14th, so Valentine's Day. So this is about Florence and Jacob and Florence finds her like ex cheating on her husband, cheating on her. So she like leaves him and she wants to open up her own business. I think it's a bakery. And she ends up meeting a famous actor named Jacob who is a newbie on the silver screen. When he bumps into Florence, he comes face to face with someone looking to get more than just an autograph with him. After falling together in ways neither of them prepared for, it becomes clear that dating is the last thing on both of their minds. Florence made a promise to herself to live life in her own terms while Jacob doesn't know who to trust. So it's a celebrity romance. Next is Puck Shy by Kayla Gross. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. It also comes out on Valentine's Day. This one is about the heroine from book one in the series, Trick Shot's sister with a hockey player it's gonna be so hot i already know it then is icebound by meredith trapp i think this is a hockey romance as well and i think this is also college set and she's like an art student or something yeah that's all i really know about it honestly <laughs> till there was you is my next one by Lindsay hamroff this one comes out on february 20th this cover got me okay the pancakes it looks so cute looks like lexi is a culinary student and then she meets jake who is a dive bar musician who charms her with show tunes oh my gosh and apparently they're like one night together they like hook up one night and he, after that night he becomes like an overnight celebrity and he writes a song about that night and people are trying to figure out who that girl is and it's the heroine this sounds so fun. Next is Until We Bleed by Natalie Bennett. This one comes out on February 25th. He's the embodiment of everything I know to fear. From the moment we met, he'd been crafting me a gilded cage. Each whispered promise drips with blood-soaked allure. As I'm dragged deeper into the depths of our depraved underworld, secrets unravel, destroying loyalties and turning trust into a luxury I can no longer afford. And now the one man I must rely on is the one that loves to watch me bleed. I don't know what that means, but that sounded to me. <laughs> Next is Mortgage of Convenience by Danny McLean. This one comes out on February 27th. This one's about B, who I think is a ghost writer. She ends up going back to her small town, like many of the other books that I talked about today. A lot of them are going back to their small town. Um, she bumps into Sebastian, her brother's best friend, and it is their romance. Oh my gosh, he was an ex-stripper. I've never read about a man who was a stripper. So he's an ex-stripper. Okay. And I think the two of them like are trying to like fix up a house or something, I think. Next is A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen, a new fantasy romance by Danielle L. Jensen. Sign me up. I don't know what this is about. I don't want to know what it's about, but the cover is beautiful. It's by Danielle L. Jensen. It's a fantasy romance. I'm sold. That one comes out on February 27th. Then the last book for this list is on February 28th, Hot Wolf in the City by Honey Phillips. I think it's a werewolf shifter, Honey Phillips book. What else do I need to know? nothing. Anyways, there you have it. Those are a bunch of romances that I look forward to reading or checking out in February that come out in February. Let me know down below if you are interested in any of these books as well and any February releases you are excited for. I would love to know. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a wolf emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all!